everybody. Hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. Gosh, you guys, I tell you what, I got my taxes done. Yay! That is such a relief. Uh, well, now my CPA will call me and say, and I need this, and I need that, and I need that, and this, and uh, never, never ends. It never ends. That's okay. Anyway, I'm just... That has been so on my mind. Do you guys ever, you get a thing that's on your mind and everything else just kind of falls apart. I find myself losing things. I forget appointments. I'm, it's, it's just crazy. I got so much going on, but the taxes were just like all encompassing. My poor dining room table, nothing but piles of paper, but today in the mail gone yay so i know y'all were wondering about that <laughs> oh my gosh hey check out my new mug this is new from riley blake i absolutely love it they gave one away on so yeah quilting's uh show was it tuesday night i think it was and i was like oh i want that <laughs> I spoiled myself. I love these mugs. This is so cute. Anyway, um, yeah, so I went out and I found it on Etsy, you know. I guess they give them to quilt shops, and I'm not a quilt shop, so I got to go get my own, but that's okay. I got mine from Simply Love Fabrics off of Etsy, but yeah, I think it's pretty. Look at all those different quilt blocks on there. See that? Isn't that just fun to have in your sewing room, this kind of stuff? I absolutely love it. Just makes me happy to have it here. Hey, I got some stuff that came in the mail and I want to show you. But first, check out Edna. So Edna, Edna is the most recent chicken on the Lori Holt chicken salad quilt that we're doing. And I know this week is Beatrice. And I've got to get that bird done. So I've got to make that video on Beatrice. I've got to finish the Easter Blessings Table Runner video with you guys. There's two more that I need to do for that. And then I am going to make a video on how to make the Baby Lovey, which is the, they're made out of like minky. And they're a little animal head from Designs by Juju, and I'm going to be doing that. So I'm looking forward to that. I told, I told them I'd have that done by Sunday. But, so the last quilt chat we had, I told you guys that my husband's best friend from high school had, was down here visiting. They had gone to our coast house last weekend, I thought, to do flooring. No, they went fishing, <laughs> which is fine. So Brad's birthday was last Thursday. Keith's birthday was yesterday. And so yesterday was just totally devoted to him, you know. So we were out running around and whatnot. And they're leaving for the coast again this afternoon. When they got back from the coast on Sunday, Brad says, he's a flooring guy. So he says, I got measurements. And so Monday we went to, there's a brand new floor and decor. There goes my chicken. <laughs> brand new floor and decor in Northeast San Antonio over by Ikea. And we went over there, such nice people. So the service over there was amazing. I picked a beautiful, like a light blonde with a little bit of brown in it, just a little bit. I've got gray in here in my sewing studio, and I originally thought I wanted kind of the same gray, but when we went looking around, I chose the blonde. So the guys are gonna go down this evening, and Keith's gonna be gone like all week, repla uh, replacing the floor in, in the, the, the flooring, the flooring in the house. So that'll make it real nice. So anyway, let's talk about quilting, shall we? And fabric and fun stuff. Oh, I need to make an announcement. Today is April 1st, 2022. Tomorrow, April 2nd, for you locals near San Antonio, 
I'm going to be at Scrappy Quilts or in Shirts, Texas from 10 to 2. And I'm going to be showing how to cut out fabric for applique patterns, just like this, on the Scan and Cut. So they invited me. They're having a Wildflower Shop Hop. And this is part of the shop hop. They invited me to come uh, be there and meet you guys and everything. So I will be there tomorrow from 10 to 2. Please come by the shop. It's on FM 78 or right off of FM 78. Just go to scrappyquilter.com and you can see the address and the phone number and all that. And um, I, I can't wait. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So I'll be there tomorrow doing demos, saying hi. And I, I look forward to meeting you if you can make it out there. So please do, okay? A couple of things I need to let you guys know about. I had that patch party the other week from uh, Dime, sponsored by Dime, with Ashley Jones and Deborah Jones. And, oh, we had such a good time. I really enjoyed that. And I went ahead and got that patch software. So I've been playing with that, and as soon as I get it down I told you guys that I would be happy to do a demo to show you guys how to make patches so that is happening and then the other thing is remember that ruler prize that was being given away by Grace the winner of the ruler kit with the rotary cutter in it and the true grips is Patricia Homer from Illinois congratulations Patricia Grace will get in touch with you by email Everybody will be getting an email with the winner's name on it, and you will also get a coupon code for Grace Products. So thank you, everybody, for entering, and next time we do a giveaway, I'll let you guys know. So thank you, everybody, who participated, and thank you, Grace, for sponsoring the giveaway. That's awesome. So I had shown y'all a while back that I got this panel called uh, Alphabetosaurus. It's by Robert Kaufman, and I picked it up at Villa Rosa Designs. It's just an adorable panel. See? And at the time, I, they didn't have any coordinating fabrics to go with it, but I got some in. So, I I thought I would, my husband's home. He got a new truck yesterday. He's tickled. Y'all, he's like a puppy with a bone. Running all over the place. He got, he ordered his truck last November and he got it yesterday. So he's just excited. That was a great birthday present for him. I digress. So I thought I would do like an inner border of this right here and then a, a little narrow inner border like that. And then I'm going to do the outer border of these leaves. I thought that would look great like that. Okay. What do y'all think? That's cute, isn't it? I really like that. I think that's going to look awesome. So, and then I don't know what I'll put on the back. Probably some dot jot like I usually do. And I ended up going with the light gray jot dot for that Thomas the Train. I was watching Anna from Quilt Roadies the other day, and she took a tour of a quilt shop in Aurora. It's either Washington or Oregon. I forget. Maybe, probably Oregon, because she lives in Portland. But... Anyway, she took a tour of the quilt shop and she came across the cutest, cutest kit called Tag Your It. From Bunny Hill Designs. And she picked it up and she was showing it in her video. Y'all, I would like a fish on a hook. Off I went, had to find it. I went out, Bunny Hill Designs makes the fabric themselves. And it's Tag Your It is a bunch of little, I got the pattern right here. You can make these little pin cushions or pillows like that. And the little tags that go on them, see the little tag right there? That's a panel. So I picked up that. I got that panel of those tags. I think that's just adorable. And then I also got a charm pack of Prairie Days. Y'all, the sheep and the flag. Really? Of course I had to get it. <laughs> That's just adorable. I'm going to go through there. That's so cute. And it comes in the cutest little package with a little gingham ribbon. No, that just makes me happy too. So while I was out there looking around at Bunny Hill Designs, now I had these leftover plastics. This didn't come in the mail. 
this is a PDF download that you can do. So that's really cool. That way you get it right away. And then I just printed it. And then I also got Hip and Hop. Let me pull it out of the plastic so you guys don't have glare. So I got Hip and Hop. And I just, it's these two bunnies on a teeter-totter. How cute is that, right? And so I printed, uh, of course, the front and the back is one page. That's what you would normally see in a quilt store. And then it comes with, of course, your applique pattern is right here. And then, of course, you get the instructions with it, too. Hope it, it comes in there. So I just printed all that. You know I'm going to use Simply Applique on this and use my scan and cut to cut out the pieces for sure. So I got Hip and Hop. And then I also got... What is it with me and sheep? Sheep and chickens. I'm all about farm animals lately, y'all. I got Ho Ho Ho. Isn't that cute? Look at those guys. That's adorable in that red and white, but you could make it any color. I think that's just precious. Look at the sheep with the antlers right there. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? So that's bunnyhilldesigns.com is where I got these things. So I got those and then I ordered the fabric and stuff and it just came in, so. Too cute, too cute. I really like the pattern of, on the tag you're it. We've got the truck. Look at the pillow with the truck and the dog in the back. Those are cute, aren't they? They're just little pin cushions or pillows, whatever you want. Too cute, too cute. Hey, Creative Notions box came in. I got two boxes I gotta show you guys. Did you know that Reb's Fab Stash is starting a box? They just started it. It came in the mail. We'll do, let's do Creative Notions first and then I'll show you Reb's, okay? So the Creative Notions subscription that came in. I like this, you guys. I always like all the stuff they have. They have the neatest things. Hey, for those of you who like making hexes, there is i make sure I got all of this right. Let's see, yes. We have Hexi templates. Can you see that? And there's a Hexi ruler in there. A, what size is this? This is a two inch Hexi ruler in that one. So it's that, it's acrylic. And then you get another Hexi set and it has a two and a half inch acrylic ruler in it. How about that? So those of you that like making hexes and things with hexes is so cute. Everything you need to celebrate spring is in this collection, a breezy floral main print with delightful leaves, berries, plaids, seeds, lacy stripes, and more. And so it is nine fat quarters. Beautiful stuff, y'all. Just gorgeous. Let's see what we got here. So pretty. Oh, look at that. Isn't that just lovely? Look at that light yellow and the green. It's kind of a mint with a dark mint and a yellow plaid. And there's a lilac with yellow flowers and white. Very pretty. There's kind of a mint again. There's that lace they were talking about. It reads as a stripe. And here's a real soft yellow flowers, light yellow flowers on yellow. More lilac, little circles and stuff. Here is a pretty, pretty, kind of a sherbet color, orange sherbet, really nice, peachy, beautiful, beautiful stuff. So you got nine fat quarters and you get a pattern. It's called the chain link quilt. So you got that, isn't that nice? It finishes, this thing is ginormous, you guys. It finishes at 82 by 82. So you can make this quilt with these fat quarters and you'd have to get some background fabric. And for the hexes, they sent along patterns for grandma's flower garden, table runner, and pillow. Look at that. So you could make these with the hexes in this and that's what it would look like. Lots and lots of options. Pretty, pretty. So look at that table runner. Isn't that nice? I like that. And then you got, along with that, you got your glue that you're gonna need if you wanna glue, you know, your hexes or however that works. 
archival quality basting glue. So this is basting glue for the hexes around the boards, around those templates. New to me. And then pink beehive cotton candy. Can't have this on my diet. Well, I can. I've lost 21 pounds. Ta-da! Very, very happy about that. Yeah. Keith's down 25. He's doing great. He got uh, his numbers back from the doctor the other day. He's healthy as the proverbial horse. Amazing. I mean, they don't even want to see him for another year. And he's just doing great. Everything's perfect on him. Everything. It's a, it's, it's a blessing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And then your goodies came in this nice big zipper bag with a handle. I love these things. These are awesome. I like that you can see through them. To me, that's just the way I, that's the way I like stuff. Okay, and then we got maraschino cherry cookies recipe. That sounds delicious. I know, I know. Okay. Let's talk about Red Fab Stash. They just started doing this, and this is called a stash box, is what they're calling it. And they had talked to me about this a while ago, but I want to show you all what's in here. Stash box, month of March 2022, getting started. And uh, this month's stash block kit, a cute butterfly block picked by Reb. You'll love putting this together. A cozy coffee kit. Keep your hands safe with a quick, convenient project. Flea market pillow covers kit. Ooh. Cute little buttons. Stitch. Your unique back quarter. No two are alike. And a Reb's Fab Stash recipe card. So, I want to try this. This is by Rebecca Randall. And ham and navy bean soup. You guys, I love this stuff. I love navy bean soup. <laughs> and it looks wonderful. And it's a slow cooker recipe, so that's cool. I'm going to I'm definitely going to make it. Here is the butterfly block pattern. Let me see what's in here. More than just paper. It's and it, you have an optional applique butterfly. So here's some heat and bond or something to that effect some kind of fusible and here are the fabrics that you get for the butterfly block okay that's what that looks like isn't that cute it's adorable okay also in here we have Lori Holtz stitch buttons this is from her stitch line very very cute these are great to put on sewing machine blocks the butterfly you know we have a cozy mug it's a mug cozy so you get a piece of fabric in here and you get the instructions on how to make a mug cozy with some cute coffee fabric isn't that adorable look at that that is so neat and it comes with Everything that you need to make a mug cozy. That's so cool. What a great, I'm sure this is for something. I'm gonna put that back where it goes. I'm gonna make this up. Y'all will see it on my mugs. Okay. And my unique fat quarter is kind of a turquoise floral. That's pretty. How about that? That's beautiful, nice and springy. Love it. And then you got flea market pillow covers. So, let's see what this is all about. This is Lori Holt again, her flea market line. All right, let's see. Sandwich the pillow panel, batting and muslin backing to prepare the quilt and to quilt the pillow front, quilt as desired. Okay, so we got one yard of this. This is flea market, multi. Okay. One yard of this. Here's the backing, muslin backing, white muslin. And then here are, I have this. I already made one of these. Look at that. So you got 
it's got four you can either make four pillows or you can make these double-sided front back front back and I think I used a 16 inch pillow or 17 something like that to be able to do this I this this panel I did the um, when I made the demo video on the Kimberbell's clear blue tiles that was this panel that I used so that's cool and I made that pillow up and it's in my motorhome <laughs> couple other what else did we get we got half a yard of flea market pink so cute those little flowers and half a yard of flea market green yeah so you can go to Reb's fab stash I'll put a link below and you can go to there and uh, subscribe to that box if you want it's a surprise every month you know if you live somewhere that the quilt store has closed or something like that those subscription boxes are nice. So that's about it, you guys. I just wanted to pop in, say hi. I've got more videos to make today and all this weekend. I'm going to be knocking them out. But if you get a chance tomorrow, please come by Scrappy Quilter in Shirts, Texas. I'll be there from 10 to 2 doing demos on the scan and cut to cut fabric and quilt blocks. That's going to be a lot of fun. All right. We will talk to you soon. Please subscribe and hit the like button, okay? We'll talk to you soon. Go sew something. Bye.